Hello friends and welcome. Join me on a journey to explore the dash. The scripture relevant to this video is Psalms 39 verse 4. And it says, quote, Lord, remind me how brief my time on earth will be. Remind the, me that all my days are numbered. How fleeting my life is. Friends and guests of Christ Church's weekly video ministries, my name is Mark Carlisle and I'm with you today, hopefully to inspire everyone to take a moment to reflect on our lives, purposes, trials, and goals. Today's topic was inspired by Pastor Tim's sermon on April 28, 2024. You can find a recap of his sermon on Christ Church's Facebook page. As his word spoke to my heart, I began to reflect on my own life and how it has been used for my earthly desires or whether or not it's been used for my father's heavenly desires. The thing that caught me the most was the four-letter word, dash. That's right, D-A-S-H. My daughter, Danielle, when she was in school, entered a writing contest, and her topic was, quote, what did you do with your dash, end quote. She even went on to win an award and was able to share her work with others. Isn't that a little bit of what we all desire in life? To share something that has inspired us and caused us to want to tell others? Well, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Let me explain a little more about the dash. You see, when you were conceived, God had a plan for you. Your beginning. You were given a birth date when you were born, and throughout life, we have opportunities with family, friends, and acquaintances to bless them with our kindness, smile, caring, or interest in their lives. Once our lives are completed, a certificate of death is created, which leads to one of three things, depending upon what you did with your dash. Eternal life with God or total separation from Him and His love for you given through His only Son, Jesus. The third thing is an end to this life. Your dash is everything between those two dates and will be written on your tombstone. Pastor Tim went on to express how we should plan from the beginning for the time of the dash. And he mentioned that many of us plan by setting goals for education, careers, life choices, and some even a 403B for retirement. He also shared that in some cultures, kings would select their granite stone for their tomb at their coronation. They knew life had an end. Unfortunately, many today even put off these plans, and statistics prove and tell us that the majority of us don't have enough for our retirement. In the Christian life, we also need to plan from the time of our rebirth in Christ by accepting Him as our Lord and Savior to ensure our dash speaks of Him, His love, and His desire that no one misses the goal of eternal life. This week, think about your dash and the influence you can bring today to someone in need of Christ and your love. It will create a memory if used in the power of Christ for eternity. Have a blessed dash.